up, everybody? Have a new package. I already opened it because I had to pick it up at my parents' house. And it's good stuff. And something that really bugged me. First, my new 7LA320 Saturnia. First, I thought, fuck this, this is a fake. Because on the bottom of my Vesuvio, it says all the information. This one, it doesn't. It says it right here on the left side of the shank. It says 7L Saturnia and 9mm on the bottom of the stem. And on the other side, on the right side of the stem, there is the Savinelli shield and it says 320KS Italy. It has those two beautiful rings like uh, Saturn. Yeah, I think that's correct. So I think that's very handsome. I thought it was done, you know, post buy by the dude himself. But it seems to be made from factory. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but look at the fantastic bird's eye on this side. This is just insane. On the other side there's some, some also some nice grain. Um, it is a used pipe, it's a, uh, an estate pipe, and I had to do some work with it. Um, the rings on the inside there were fucking nasty. I don't know what the dude did with this pipe, but, but it was quite nasty. Um, the inside of the pole has been charred and uh, smoked in quite well. And uh, I had to, you know, just rub it out with some dry dish towel. No, not dish towels, and paper towels. Um, multiple paper towels. And it's fine now. Um, the stem has been thoroughly cleaned, not infect, uh, disinfected with alcohol, but I cleaned it out really good. And um, no bite marks, maybe just the slightest scratches, could have been from, from storage. Um, I don't really care because I use a, uh, a softy bit on there. And uh, let me tell you, this seems so much lighter than my Vesuvio. But it's only two grams lighter. I don't know why, just is. Um, the stem looks a little bit shorter, that is why, um, that is because there is a wooden ring on the stem. Careful. You can see that? Hope you can. Now, I haven't smoked this yet. I will just after this video, because I wanted to unpack something. Um, this comes from cigarworld.de. It's in Düsseldorf, and it's the best pipe shop in Germany. That's the bottom line. Shipping is expensive, under 25 euros, it's six euros shipping. Over 25 to, I think, 50, it's four, so, so that's okay. And you can order three samples, five gram um, pipe tobacco samples with, your, with every order. And uh, what I also got was a uh, cigar for free. This is a Principes from the Dominican Republic, Republica Dominica. It's a handmade pipe, uh, handmade cigar. This, this ain't no pipe. And uh, yeah. I will see how that is. I think it's my first Dominican pipe. Not really sure about that. I might be wrong. Maybe I have posted a video about the Dominican pipe. A uh, cigar. What the fuck? Maybe you could gather from all this jibber jabber that I like pipes a lot. And I am primarily a pipe smoker. But this cigar um, is my first since last year. So uh, I will enjoy that on some other oca occasion. Then we come to the samples. Well, first this one. I just packed them in different uh, Ziploc bags or plastic bags because this McBaron Vanilla Cream Flake smells intensive, but not as super 
in your face sweet like planta black vanilla which I have been uh, encountering this is a very nice very nice smell it's a nice flake two thick flakes in there and also I have two other samples this Orlick no Dunhill early morning pipe and uh, I'm not a huge fan of nightcap but early morning pipe many people say it's it's kind of better so I will try that it smells not as heavy as nightcap that makes sense and now we come to the really bothersome experience of mine um, not only is this just weird what they gave me you know, in comparison to this those two flakes are Holga Danske, Holga Danske Royal Navy flake. Recommended from uh, Sir Motoyoshi. So thank you very much for that recommendation. It smells really good. But this was supposed to be a 50 gram tin. I was supposed to get three samples. One sample was the uh, cigar for free, and the other two were early morning pipe and McBurn vanilla cream flake. This one was supposed to be a 50 gram tin. They charged me for that for that tin, eight euros and ninety cents, I think, which is a good price actually. But they sent me just a sample. So, but fantastic customer service. Called them up in two minutes. Yeah, we ship it to you, no problem whatsoever. Don't have to come up with shipping costs or what um, or something. That would have been a dick move. Um, so fantastic service, thank you very much, cigarworld.de And Royal Navy Flake really smells like a good, good, sweet Virginia. I think it smells better than or Orly Golden Sliced, which smells a little bit more more damp, more more dry, like dry, uh, dry hay. And this... This is the idiot that fucked up my order, Thomas H. Just kidding. Um, he packed my my stuff. He did fuck up, but I don't hate him. Um, you know, mistakes happen. This is the team. All those guys are experienced smokers, so that that's a great great thing about this shop. They don't smoke fucking cigarettes or or nothing. Well, cigarettes are worse than smoking nothing, but if you, uh, you know, work in a good smoke shop, they have a massive online store, a massive, you know, um, massive, what's the word, connections, they get, you know, special edition cigars and what, whatnot, so, so it's really neat. Um, I really appreciate guys who know their shit working in such stores. Like, you know, gun people working at gun stores, knife people working at knife stores, things like that. Also, I got this. Dan Tobacco Da Vinci. Il Tobacco Toscano per la pipa. Mellow pipe tobacco. Made in the EC. That can't be right. Made in the EC by Dan Tobacco Germany. Ah, <sighs> heard many good things about that. Um, it's a pipe smoking tobacco made from Golden Virginias and a most ag agreeably sweet black Cavendish matured under addition of full-bodied red Chianti wines from the Tuscan growing area known as the Colisenesi. A nice pleasure for all spoiled smokers and tobacco connoisseurs. Enjoy its sweet and gentle smoke, its fragrant aroma and bouquet. Mm -mm. And it does smell... like chocolate raisins. Or just, you know, rum raisins. Chianti is a red wine. And uh, this seems to be a very pl uh, pleasurable aromatic. And finally, finally, Patriot Flake! Yes! Oh my god, I have been looking for this ever since I think Polish Piper Nick did a video like one and a half, two years back. Not specifically about this, but he mentioned it, and it was on my radar since then. And it's it's a straight Virginia flake. 
a naturally spicy, uh, sweet and spicy Virginia flake, manufactured in Germany by Dan Tobac Tobacco, and it costs eight euros and fifty cents. And maybe that's why it's kind of affordable. Eight euros and fifty cents is not super expensive. For for example, uh, Sam Gawith costs twelve euros a tin. So uh, probably because it's made in Germany, it's a little bit more exp uh, less expensive. I already opened it up and it was incredible to me how that smell was like dried apricots dried apricots dried peaches exactly exactly nothing nothing else dried apricots apricots so you get those very nice, super nice flakes. Oh man, that's that's a yummy, yummy tobacco. And that's the first one I will smoke in my new 320 because I think in there have been smoked uh, some heavy, some heavy Virginias. Uh, when I cleaned it out, it smelled a little bit like my three nuns. And uh, clean it out real good. Basically no smell, no, well, besides the, it's a pipe, you know, pipe smells like a pipe, but no, you know, lingering tobaccos. God, this smells so fucking fruity, it's, it's insane. It's so great. Dan Tobacco Patriot Flake. Unfortunately, it has all this, you know, billboarding going on, so we'll do a snapshot right now. This better be your wallpaper next week. So, very, very nice. Paper doesn't smell as intensive, but that's fine. Just, just a great tobacco. I haven't even tried it yet, but I'm so excited. So I think that's all. Um, yeah, everything I got today. I thank you very much for watching. Hope you'll have a great night. Balar Morgulis.